All right, just shoot this lady. Hello? Somebody's basically begging. Oh, okay. All right. Is that a baby? Yeah. Is that a bad bad? Dude, I'm just going to keep going here. I don't feel like the dingo ate baby. That was a real thing that happened, Jeff, okay? No, it wasn't. I know. Nah. Oh, look. I'm going to save real quick. Okay. Do you have enough ink ribbons? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's a, you fucking mook. Not joking. <laughs> Wait, I thought I'm the only one who said that. <laughs> oh, man. I could love good fellas. Yes, I have no doubt. Yes, gotta be worried about using. God, I fucking hate these babies. He's the line guy. What I've been told most, uh, most things that you Actually, I babies love me. It's really crazy. I hate it. Incidents of violence and even murder also in the. Goddamn! I don't want to watch it. Uh, I don't want to watch Goodfellas. You know what? Like I don't. Key, I want to. I want to clarify something for you. There is absolutely nothing stopping you from watching Goodfellas. Even Goodfellas right now. is literally the only movie I, I would say you can watch on repeat because it tells you everything you need to know about a healthy relationship. It's a good. <laughs> It's a girl you're currently with. Will she flush away cocaine if the feds are coming? That's what you really need to ask yourself. How Next. long is this game? Yeah. I, I, uh, uh, 12, uh, this game is pretty long. 12, 14 days. How many? No, no. How many chapters is it? Because I'm already in. It's, I'm almost done with chapter two at this point. Yeah. It's oh, okay. more than two. Hey, uh, I want to spoil this game for you, but guess what? Don't, if, no, don't. No. The story of every chapter spells out the. Uh, box. Uh, oh, I hate you. Well, I didn't watch what's upset you guys been dead the entire time, and this is just a dream. No, this isn't fucking. I don't want that. Ah! Uh oh. Oh, yeah. It's like the. Uh, it's like the red zombies, pretty much. They just get a power boost. Yeah, yeah. I got to see them. He rage quit way early. Yeah, yeah. he didn't get to that part. Ah. Uh, I'm he... so spoiled, Mark. It turned out that, like, in this game, your wife was terminally ill, so you smothered her with a pillow, so you're now trapped in this town because she sent to a letter. And so you're back here, trying to find your wife. And turned out you killed her at the end. I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about anymore. Uh, I'm spoiling the game. Short stories. Nah, this is spoiling. Uh, spoiling is this one of those, stories. Brian? Is this one of those fucking things like you keep a, ba a duffel bag buried in the fucking backyard so that if you ever need to fucking bail on life and start a new life somewhere else, you can? Is that what uh, you're doing right now? Is that what you're admitting to right now? No. Which one of us would have yes. the best duffel bag? But, that, you know what, that, if I ever become a boss, that is my interview question. Like, what would be the best duffel bag? And you have, like, $5,000 burner money. Where are you going to hide it? Because you're going to need that money to start a new identity. I, I like that I, the real reason Brian's asking that isn't because it's, like, a good question to ask new candidates, but more because he's getting ready to rob this person. Well, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, yes, everybody is a potential victim. Uh... If you ever read, uh, you know, the uh, Fast Track to S Success uh, by Dr. Sure Mills, uh, it it's like, basically says every new employee be that you're going to bring into your company is a potential target, and you need to prey on them. I mean, that does sound very like capitalism. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're going to make a non-profit comic book shop, uh, <laughs> you <should> <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're supposed to open 12 new locations a year. And How is this fucking guy still alive? I was under the impression that if you're going to open a non-profit comic book store, the first thing to do is hire your people that for some reason don't make you, uh, well, are cool not being paid. Yeah, I really love the idea that somebody wanted to make a comic book empire built on not paying anybody. And except for yourself. Yeah, except for yourself. And, uh... I, yeah, I admit, I... You know what? It's all while ruining their marriages. Yeah. Get over to the engineering desk. Oh, I didn't know that happened. Yeah, it's a really good way to do uh, comic book stores. Wait, what do you mean ruin marriages? I mean, I think some marriages from that comic book store didn't go so hot while people were working there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. I mean, I know one guy who, uh, I know one guy who just was just not really good at marriages. But I think that was a I think that was a different thing. Is his name Mark? Actually, I think his name was technically Scott. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I, I got to tell no, you. No, no. Holy shit. His name's not technically Scott. Do you know what his first name is? Ronald. No, he's going to hate the fact that we all know this now. Uh, fucking, fucking. His first name is Darren. <laughs> okay, what? do you want to know why that gets even better? Because he's a bitch? Oh, nope, shit. you're going to love this. <laughs> this so, ever. a podcast that I listen to, there's a podcast I listen to that's uh, called Scared to Death that tells scary stories every week, and they have a term uh, for people who are too stupid to get out of a clearly haunted house and stick around because they're just idiots, and that term is a Darren. How, nice. f how fucked would it have been if, like, when that thing opened for me to get the upgrade, if a thing just popped out of it and fucking kills me? Fucking ate you? Dude, what if it just gave, out and just gave you a hand job? Just like a graphic one? And you're, what? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not like an... It's like a very tender hand job. Like, it's it's very it's, delicate. It's just... It's just... It's like, it has, like, a mouth, like, a long tongue. Just, like, look at the side of your helmet. And you're like, what is that? <laughs> and then, like, it ends. And, like, that just never happens again in the game. At that point, Mark uh, just gets real quiet and real intense on the game. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> guys, no. shut up! I need to find another hand job booth. No, Mark, there's no more. No, no, no. There's got to be more. There's got. Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't put that in for just one thing. There's always more hand job booths. Oh, like, God, dude, did you get the hand job booth? The guy's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, one fucking thing. You're dumb, man. That's where this is right. <laughs> you're oh, you're doing much better in this than you did in Resident Evil. Oh, well, of course. He didn't, he didn't pick Chris this time. <laughs> what we're uh, talking about is like, only one person gets that build of the game. Nobody else. Funny. It's like, you get one build of a fucked up game, but then like everyone's like, was like, no, man, you're some kind of idiot. What's wrong with no, you? No, 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 no. Here's what happens is you mod a fucking original or an Xbox or an Xbox 360 to have that one glitch so that it gives you the hand job, and then you take it to a resale shop and just leave it. Some guys you can buy is like, what the f What is happening? No, the best would be like a young Mark getting that, and that's how Mark became to be. Oh, it's like, oh, dude, tentacles only now. Are you okay, Mark? I don't know. Like, I met this girl. She's nice, but she has human hands. Like, there are no tentacles involved with this woman, and I don't, I don't think I can move forward with it. It's like this uh, friend of, this friend of mine who's totally real. Um, his name is Kevin, and uh, <laughs> he's in love with dinosaurs. And he came to me. He's like, Brian, listen. I'm like, dude, you're always depressed, and like every time we drink, it just gets dark with you. What's going on, man? And he's like, I'm in love with dinosaurs, but do you know what's how fucked up it is? Uh, I can only see pictures of them. They've been dead long. And it's like, so it's like, yeah, you only. Whenever have the I, skeletons. whenever I go to the Natural Science Museum, the dinosaur skeletons aren't the only bones. Let's just put it that way. You know, every, every it's, time, it's Mark. Something, but to want to love something that just will never exist. Is what happened to young Mark after he got a tentacle ten ten hand job in the video game. It's not fair. I watched yeah, Jurassic I Park and I got hope. It's like, fine, use your stupid fingers with bones inside of them. <laughs> Jeff, every what were you trying Mark to say? Down, every time Mark comes down from trying to play video games, he's just horribly dehydrated. <laughs> oh, because I'm coming. Yep. Got it. Now nah, you're just breathing hard. Well, you're also sweating too because like I'm imagining like there's like a heat lamp in your room and so it's just like this red light is just bathing you and like it's just glistening and you're just like and people are just like someone walks in on you and they're like what am I looking at and you're like go away it looks like Mark when you turn on um... complete Mark has a complete mental breakdown when he gets the uh, red ring of death on his Xbox it's like when you when you know, like you know like in movies when people turn on the red lights in their uh, dark rooms when they're getting photographs made yeah it's like well, that. Yeah, develop. Thank you. I couldn't think of that word. Got you. Uh, yeah. I gotta get going, guys. Oh, what a what a fucking surprise! Key's bailing early. Key, I hope you have I hope you have a really good sleep tonight, and I hope that you never achieve that same level of sleep again. I hope you don't wake up. Oh, oh my god! I don't wish that. <laughs> Jeff, God. 
You dickhead. Joking, love you. <laughs> love you, mean it. Bye. Good night, Key. Bye, Key. Wish me luck in the midterm tomorrow. Hey, man, you got this. I have absolute faith in you. Right. Fuck the midterm. Yeah. Fuck school. Uh, I know, but I gotta do it. No, man, just be a punk rock cardiologist. Just, like, get a van, do shit out of the back of your van. Like, Where you the don't fuck need... did that thing go? You don't need wasn't that this. a uh, wasn't that an uh, Adult Swim game? Bug school? Oh, no, amateur like surgeon. Was, uh, amateur surgeon. Amateur surgeon. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, amateur surgeon. That's on my list of things I want to play with you guys. I think Dude, sur surgeon simulator is oh. that. Real quick, that one we have to have key play and we talk over. Yes. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Go to sleep, key. Oh, we weren't we weren't giving you a choice. Yeah, this choice. isn't this isn't a, a choice thing. Yeah, go to sleep. Go to sleep, you happy bitch. Hey, go to fucking sleep. No, yes, just go, please, just go to fucking sleep. All right, I got oh. shit to do. Go to fucking sleep. I'm not gonna lie, it's my favorite thing at the end of the night when Key fucking goes to sleep. Can't fucking stand when he's here. What piece Does anybody of shit. else just see Mark standing over Key with a pillow? <laughs> I tell Key, I was like, I just want to watch this with you, and then you can go. Like the Jeffrey Dahmer thing. <laughs> yeah. Let's let him watch that. You're gonna watch the Fanta drinking video. Dude, someone over the weekend uh, at ACL was like, Oh man, Jeff, that's gotta be pretty hard lately. I'm like, huh? She's like, well, you, you know, with the Jeffrey Dahmer documentary. I was like, do you think people haven't known who he was before this this show? Like, oh, also, yeah. I, I, also, I grew up in the Midwest. I grew up the state under the state where he was murdering everyone, and I grew up seven minutes from where Gacy was. Like, so this is the dog at high school, so like it's it's not even that, that big a deal. I'm sorry. Did you just say something about jerking off a dog in high school? Yeah, Jeff was like, yeah, man. You know, like yeah, they get these serial killers, and then like everybody saw me jack off a dog, so like. <laughs> hey, don't throw don't throw me with a good time. <laughs> so I was like, so like being made fun of for having a weird name was like nothing. It's much better than uh, Dog Jerk Off Jeff. I'm still, I'm still Scott on this tentacle thing. I just... I really want that to be in the build. I want that video game. Just Mark so, getting jacked off by a tentacle Xbox monster? Well, the thing is, that it's it's a regular game, and there's just a dumbass, like, five-minute scene just buried in it somewhere. Yeah, I think that's just all porn games. Uh... Yeah. You know, I've never played one, but we should stream one. Uh, yeah. We have nowhere that we can actually upload porn games as much yeah, as we wish we do. Yeah, we've been through this, right? Because Pornhub is, like, not a thing that we can Pornhub, do. Pornhub, like, wants our socials and, like, real life yeah. pictures. I'm not doing that. I don't... Do need to... First of all, you don't have a duffel bag because... All right, so there's a book called The Trip Papers. And what Fuck! it does is it tells you how to... You! Get... All of yous! And basically, what you need to do is like steal the identity. Oh of the shit! Because uh, rarely there's somebody that will. I take ran that out of identity. ammo. So you Mark, get a, next time you should kill them before they kill you. And so you get a. I hadn't a thought of that. Security card, and with that you can get a, a credit card, or at least just get a prepaid credit card, and then you could go online and play a porn game. Mark, how have your parents not tried to steal your identity yet? They have. <laughs> what? They have. I've met your parents. No, you haven't, and you never will. Oh wait, no, fuck, you have met my parents. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh my god, I forgot about this. Back before everything went down, uh, they flew into Austin to hang out once or twice, and came to the toy museum while I was working. And you hung with them? No. Okay, okay. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, Brian and, did. Me and Greg were fucking hitting up. We were talking about, like... Did you just the... say that my dad's name is Greg? He told me his name was Greg, so I've been calling him Greg. My dad's name is also Mark. Yeah, he said, listen, my friends call me Mark, but you can call me Greg. And then we fist fair, bumped. I heard it. Yeah. We were, just, we were in the back just doing bong rips. Um, fucking just getting tore the fuck up. He and got to jerk Brian yeah. off. Yeah, that makes more sense why he said my name's Greg. My name's Greg, don't tell my family. <laughs> <laughs> He's been lying to you your entire life. I honestly don't know. About you and his name. I would rather find that. Dude, I, do you know how happy I would be to find out, like, that 
I was switched to at birth with a, another infant. Do you know how well, fucking... So, real quick here, buddy. You There's need to tell us how he stole your goddamn identity. So, so they... Uh, actually, they can we start from the beginning? Like, I'm detecting some bad blood, but I have, like, very little details on this situation. All right, so my dad was an abusive motherfucker my whole life. And like, like I'm talking like physically, mentally, emotionally. Mark has trauma. I have a lot of trauma from my parents. And then about six months before I got married, like more than the average amount. Yeah. Like before, and then like six months before I got married, uh, it came out that my parents are swingers. By my mom saying that my dad was forcing her to have sex with all these other guys, right? And so I was like, fuck, let's get mom the fuck out of here. Come to find out she just wanted attention from all of us. Yada, yada, yada. We moved past that. We, we, we moved past it, and then I was like... As and, you do. Me and my dad... Like, I was one of those things where it was like my relationship with my father was never going to be fully repaired, as you would expect. And then my wife left me. And my mom and my dad drove up here to be... Or down... Well, when I lived in Austin. They drove to Austin to be supportive. Uh, they actually found out because my mom called me up and was like, Hey, we want to come to Austin for Thanksgiving to spend it with you and your ex-wife. She didn't know that she was my ex-wife at that point. So it became a weird thing. It was like, you and your ex-wife. Yeah, so she's okay, like... Wait, 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 wait. Real quick, though. I could absolutely see your parents saying that. Yeah, absolutely. So I was just like... <laughs> you know? I was just like... The, she calls up. She's like, we want to spend... Uh, Thanksgiving with you and Aaron. And I was like, yeah, me and Aaron aren't together anymore. And she's like, oh my god, no. Well, me we're going to... Aaron aren't me and Aaron. Yeah, it's me and then there's also Aaron, but not together anymore. So... Well, let's be honest, for a good amount of your marriage, it was that anyway. And yeah. she just never kind of told you. Yep. Uh, so then they, they came up for Thanksgiving and my mom was, you know, she was very supportive. She's like, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. And then uh, my dad said... <gasps> Did your dad try and fuck your ex-wife? I, you know what? I really wouldn't care either way. Oh. I, I gotta tell you, just for drama points, that would be pretty. That would be good content. Uh, <laughs> but just in I'll general, just, like, I'll just call just up and be like, "Hey, so uh, my dad wants to fuck you. You think he can do that for my stupid podcast with my dumbass and, friends?" And her response is like, "Again? <laughs> <laughs> Damn." Uh, you know the best part is I'm it's it's a it's all finished so I don't have to worry about anything anymore. No, I was not yeah. Anyway, the best part so, is she watches this. Yeah, yeah, right. What do I do? <laughs> what do I bark? I think you get a divorce, but you already did it, so you're good now. Oh, you mean the game? Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Yeah, I've never played. You were having like a like a thing. It's like, oh man, this is probably really personal. You're probably probably not the best place to to have these these kind of talks. I don't fucking care. Uh, there, okay. Refuel the it's... engine. All right. How so do I... All right. Well, what you do is you got to find the fuel, and then you got to put it inside of the engine. Oh, is this fuel? I mean, it's no. <laughs> uh, fuck. Was that a hiccup and a burp? Oh, it's yes, gross. Uh, I've been eating oh, my son's. Like... Uh, I've been eating my son's Halloween cereal. Cereal. So, Mark, back to bad parenting. Oh yeah. So my mom, you know, super supportive. Like, I'm so sorry. I know that this is a, this is gonna be a really hard time for you. I was like, yeah, thanks, mom. I'm glad you understand. And then my dad opens his fat fucking mouth and goes, you know, I saw this coming a long time ago. And uh, that was Jesus, Mark Senior. We all did, but we didn't say it. Hey, yeah. Supposed to say it. <laughs> so that's thank it. That uh, it, it, was when it, it, I. Drew, when I was just like, I'm fucking done with you, Dad. Like, I'm done. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. You're not part of my life anymore. Was this Listen. before or after you found him on the, on the weird dating app? That was well after. What's the weird dating app? You ever hear of the uh, the messaging app uh, Kick? Yes. Yeah. So I was on Kick, and because I like my anon anim anonymity online, I uh, used a fake it name. And pretend to be a girl, gotcha. Nope, I just used a name that was gent non gender specific, and oh. John Henry. I think I used like Alex or something like that. Uh, and you keep my wife's name out of your mouth. This was before you and your wife met. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even kidding. 
Uh, so what ended up happening was... Ryan, you're, you're really going to love this story, man. It was one of those things where, like, your contacts sync up with the app. Oh, and no. I guess when my dad saw the name Alex, he assumed that it was this whore he'd been banging. And started messaging me all of these horrible, horrible, unspeakable things that he wanted to do with me. Oh. Wasn't there a picture? I don't remember. I've tried to block it out. I thought you said the, uh... You, you just given me him a wearing new... the panties. Dude, you just given me, like, a new fear as a parent. He told me that one of his favorite activities was having his partner getting fucked by another guy while, while she sat on his face. Okay. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, his partner is your mother, right? Yep. Or okay, whoever cool. he el whoever else he happens to be banging at that time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I. Uh, oh, Are you like, way less fucked up than you should be? It's actually like an always sunny in Philadelphia episode. It's great. I love it. You know, here's the fucked up thing: is is for the longest time, I didn't realize that I had trauma. I just thought that's how families worked. What well, makes you feel better, buddy? I didn't realize until about two weeks ago that I have pretty severe abandonment issues. I could see that. Yeah, yeah dude. that was a fun realization. Dude, I only gave you, like, my phone number once, and then, like, I got home, there's, like, 16 text messages and, like, two missed calls. Oh, he did that to you, too? Okay. Just want to, yeah, I wasn't sure if it was just me. Oh, well, now I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Pat, like, you doing okay? Yeah. Oh, fuck, what is this thing? Well, what yeah, is this thing? What is this oh, thing? Yeah. Well, you should be pressing A. I, I am. Well, obviously, you're not pressing A fast enough. I have a fucked up like thumb. Worst, like just pre-floating vagina. I have no. The world's worst pre-floating vagina was the thing from fucking free Spire. Floating. That's what I said. You should heal. Pre-floating. Whatever. Continue.